PlayStation has released a fair few DualSense controllers at this point. And with that, I decided that ever since the 30th anniversary has come out, I think it's about time that we rank the five best looking DualSense special edition controllers. So what I mean by that is, as much as I love the silver PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, even though I was quite shocked that it wasn't the original um, satin silver color from the PS2, it is not going to feature on this list, unfortunately. So he can go down there. Also, I'm also only looking at standard edition controllers. So the lovely DualSense Edge is not going to appear or appear on this list either. But with that said, there are four controllers in front of me and actually all four of them do make the list. However, there is one that I don't have. So before I even get into it and tell you which is which and which I find as the best looking controller, make sure to drop your five down in the comments below. With that being said, let's hop straight into it with number five. Now, number five is one that I was really excited for and a game that I was really excited for. And I don't know if the hype around the game kind of led me to have expectations that were maybe a little bit unrealistic now the game actually is really great it just i just not i just don't find it as good as the first one and that is the spider-man 2 controller and spider-man 2 if you haven't guessed i did a full playthrough of spider-man 2 on the channel i don't know if they're still up if they are make sure you go check them out they were some fun to make so yeah those were a bit fun a bit of fun to make i just think that even though this controller looks fantastic, I wish the red wrapped around just a little bit more to the back. However, being a black controller, it is classy, it is sleek, it does look fantastic. It's just not number one on this list or any of the other top spots. So with that being said, let's hop into number four. Now number four is actually the only one that I don't have, even though ugh, I really, really wish I did. It is one of the best looking DualSense controllers out there and i mean there are some really fantastic dual sense controllers that have been released and haven't made their way to south africa and this is the one that hurts the most and that is the hogwarts legacy dual sense controller which was actually only released in the uk so it not being in south africa isn't the biggest surprise because we do get fewer controllers here i mean we didn't get the lebron one we didn't get the fortnite one both of which i don't actually particularly enjoy but because they are special edition DualSense controllers and I have had habit of collecting every single DualSense controller released in South Africa the special editions that is I would have probably bought them even though I cannot play Fortnite or NBA and have no interest in either one of them just to complete the set I probably would have done something like that but they weren't which is probably better for my wallet anyways I have rambled on long enough about the ones that weren't released here because of the Hogwarts Legacy um, controller in spot number four spot number three is the lovely astrobot controller now when i first got my hands on the astrobot controller i thought this was it i thought this one was going to be number one forever um i didn't know if we were going to be getting the 30th anniversary one and yeah that's not a spoiler by the way maybe it is you never know um but actually in the astrobot game we see the 30th anniversary controller and that's when i kind of started thinking oh i think playstations might do this i think they're probably going to have to make the 30th anniversary collection which was awesome when they did however astrobot is sitting at number three and we are left with two controllers which is which tell me in the comments which one do you think is number one and which one do you think is number two I will put you out of your misery right now. Number two is the 30th anniversary controller. Now by all accounts, this is one of the most beautiful DualSense controllers that has ever been released. It looks fantastic. The box, they nailed it. The color scheme is amazing. The colored buttons, oh, it just, it feels like they should never have gotten rid of the colored buttons, the colored logo on the PlayStation button. Everything about it to the minute details of the grip where it's the 30th, um, the triangle 30, x circle or x square it just is a phenomenal looking controller but my number one is the god of war ragnarok controller and it both looks fantastic to me and has a little bit more special meaning as to why it is number one this one is the first um, special edition that i got and my girlfriend got it for me back in 2022 after i thought they had all sold out she managed to get one for me for christmas which was super super special so it is now my number one looking controller and it has such personal affection that might be making me a little bit biased but i love this controller so much it is 
probably still one of my favorite PlayStation games um, on PS5. Obviously you can play it on PS4, but PS5 version just runs better. So having the DualSense to match one of my favorite games on PlayStation kind of just ties everything together and also the story of how I got it makes it number one. I love this controller to all the details. The blue has this very deep, rich color to it. The white with the um, bear and the wolf on the front on the touchpad. It's just an amazing, amazing looking controller. Also the God of War at the back of the controller looks phenomenal. So yeah, now number one is the God of War Ragnarok controller, even though my opinion might be slightly biased. I know a lot of people are gonna go with the 30th anniversary and I can completely see that, but mine is the God of War Ragnarok controller. Make sure you drop your list in the comments. And I know there's so many more controllers out there. There's the Final Fantasy 16, the Monster Hunter Wilds, is it wild one coming out next year but those are all japan uh, japan releases and i haven't been able to get my hands on any of those maybe one day um, even though i haven't played any of those games i think that's what's special about these all these are titles and games that i have a very close affection for and have played quite a lot of anyways i hope that you will join me for friday's video which has a good theme to it with black friday and christmas coming up very soon so i hope you'll check me there Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers.